Hello, my lovelies! It is um, Valentine's Day, so happy heart day. Um, you're my lovelies, so I guess uh, you all are my valentine. So, um, in honor of today, I am wearing a pink shirt. I have pink glitter nails, and my hair is done in the shape of a heart. Kind of, sort of. Yeah. Um, it's up there pretty good. This hairstyle comes from my friend Kathleen. Um, here is a link. Ooh. Um, yeah, that is her woven heart hairstyle that she actually did last year and was on my to-do list for a long time of stuff to try, and I never did. But I did today because I was like, hey, it's Valentine's. Let's see if it will look like a heart. And it does. Um, mine's a little chunky because my hair is a little chunky, much like myself. So... <laughs> But it's cute. I'm curious to see what the gals at the gym are going to say. Um, tai Chi and yoga today. So this is going to be a short one because of that. So um, I was going to do a big long rant about Valentine's Day. But then I was like, well, that's so whiny. And I don't want to be whiny. Um, I will say that red roses have been ruined forever. Um, I used to be a florist. So Valentine's Day and Mother's Day, not good holidays. Um, stressful, stressful. <laughs> but uh, perhaps send some of those chocolate-covered uh, strawberries instead. Uh, I think you might get a little bit more enjoyment. I don't know. Um, but here are two tips for you if you are getting flowers for somebody um, for Valentine's Day. Number one. Deliver them yourself. Um, at this time of year, all the floral places um, are hiring seasonal drivers, which is college kids that don't care. Um, your roses will end up broken. Your flowers will be mangled and mushed. And sometimes they just leave them on a porch or somewhere and don't care. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. Pause. Okay, we're back. Sorry, stupid phone. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah, mangled flowers. So if you want something delivered, um, go to the florist. Pick them up and take them yourself. Um, that way you know they're not going to be squished. That way you know exactly what they look like so you know it's not been flowers sitting in the cooler for two weeks. FYI, um, all, all you people that order them a month in advance, they've been sitting in a cooler for two weeks. We have to start two weeks ahead of time um, putting flowers in vases, making up dozens of roses, and then they sit in refrigerator trucks for two weeks before they're delivered. It's, yeah, seriously. So the dudes or the ladies that wait until the day of Valentine's Day and go in and grab their dozen roses, theirs are the freshest. I know you were good and I know you did it ahead of time and we're responsible, but seriously, at least on Valentine's Day, if you would like to get your significant other roses, go to the florist yourself, pick them out yourself. Um, one way to check if roses are, are going to be good, pinch them. If they are mushy and soft, they're not going to open. Um, you want them to be hard. Now, you can either get some that are already open, but they're only going to last a couple days. Um, you usually want a fairly tight bud, and you want it to be hard. Um, some of the tight buds um, you will squish, and it's squishy. If it's squishy, you don't want those. They're not going to open. It's gross. Just leave those alone, yeah. Pinch them like a melon. Um, but yeah, any hoodles, if you would like her to have nice roses, go pick them up yourself, take them to her. Besides, she'd rather see you anyway. Or he would rather see you anyway instead of some random delivery driver. So that's all I'm saying. Just just some tips if you're going to go the flower route. Um, I would rather not go the flower route because flowers are nice. I'm partial to like daisies and lilies myself. Um, but, you know, it's, it's very expected. Then people end up disappointed because they didn't get what their friends got. And 
for a day that's supposed to celebrate love, a lot of people end up with hurt feelings, I've noticed. It's very odd. Oh, well. Anyways, I hope you guys do have a happy Valentine's Day, even if all you do today is spend time poking a doll with pins, which is also perfectly acceptable on Valentine's Day because I've been there. So <laughs> it's a short one today, guys, because I am busy, busy. I have two classes to count them at the gym today, Tai Chi and yoga. Um, I am also, uh, yesterday I started doing weight training on the machines. Heretofore, I have been too afraid to even try the machines. I also, since I am such a big girl, I've always been afraid to weight train because I don't want to look like a dude. It would be very easy. I'm six feet tall. I'm a big girl. Um, I have massive bones even under all this mess. So, you know, that whole I don't want to look like a female wrestler kind of thing. Although, you know, whatever. But anyways, um, yeah, so, so I'm doing that, and the machines weren't nearly as scary as I thought they were. Um, I did find out that all that braiding that I do is helpful. Um, my personal trainer was very good at guessing what weights I would need for which muscle groups. Um, but she was way off in my triceps and my lats. Um, apparently, all of this um, is really good for my lats, which is why I don't have, you know, the giant slabs of back fat, even though I should, um, because I have pretty good muscle under there. And uh, my triceps, we think it's probably from drumming, um, but they're stronger than my biceps, which should not be the case. But um, other than that, <laughs> um, I am a little stronger than I thought I was, which was kind of cool to find out. Um, but we're doing, you know, low-ish weights and lots of reps. So long, mean muscle, which should help burn some of the fat off my body. Let's hope so. Keep your fingers crossed. All righty. Um, so any hoodles, I have got to get my butt to the gym. I have 15 minutes to get there. So I will edit this when I get home. All righty. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I hope nobody is sad on this Valentine's Day. And if you are, turn around and do something fun. It does not have to be, you know, lovey-dovey, crappy crap all day. Um, all right. All right. I love you guys. Um, and if you think that you're sad and you don't have a Valentine, don't worry. You're mine. Ha-ha. Okay. Um, have a great day, guys. I love you. Bye.